Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Badger Lord Patrick here. It is Friday, and it is, therefore, uh, in a new tradition, one game day. What that means is we're not going to play our usual round of Age of Empires 2, and instead, we are going to occupy ourselves with one single solitary game. Which I've chosen to do for other reasons, but um, also just to kind of um, challenge myself to enjoy one game for all it's worth on this lovely Friday uh, day. So I don't know how many of you can maybe take a guess on this game is just by listening. See if you can guess. Let's show the video. Oh, come on. Well, I thought it was going to show. There we go. So obviously it's Egypt themed, or at least Africa themed, you can see. Definitely Egypt themed. What game do you think it is? It is Children of Well That's unfortunate. Immortal Cities Children of the Nile. Now I'm going to leave it that way and uh, you'll see why in just a second. All right, so we are going to play through a session of this. Now, I have already begun a little bit of a game here under the title of Pyramid. And you might be able to guess what I'm doing here. Don't know why it chose to function like that. Anyway. But here we are in... Uh, where, where is this city, actually? Let's check the scenario info. Mennefer. This is the hardest map of the first... Um, of the choices of scenarios in... The Grand Campaign. And the goal here is to build the Great Pyramid. All right. Great builders begin, though, by carrying small stones. So... And in the case of Egypt, we begin by building with bricks. So... We have already got, let me see, how many? Three bricks works here already. And two bakers. And hopefully enough accoutrements for our population to grow and expand and remain happy, which is the more important thing. <coughs> This isn't quite as fun of a game as, say, Caesar 3, at least in terms of dialogue. But it is kind of fun to watch the peeps doing their things. What's even more fun, here's the real reason I love this game. You can get some real beautiful shots like this, man. Because the camera, I mean, it is 100% completely yours. You can just play with it. You can just glide with it. I've never seen one so small. Okay. 
But enough twiddling with it right now, as there's not really anything that impressive. So, when are we gonna get about building this pyramid, then, you may be wondering? Well, in order to do so, we'll need limestone, fine limestone, I think gold. We have limestone here, but not really anything else pertinent to this quest. Do we have any other resources? Um, we have the ability to build a clay pit and therefore uh, an outpost not too far away from there, but I think we should focus our efforts where I laid down tracks in the first place, right here. Now, what have we got in the way of brick? Ugh. We've got four bricks and 462 food. I thought for sure I would have had a little more. <coughs> Did they just... Hmm. My camera will act a little weird as I do try to mute myself. Instead of coughing for all the world to see. Okay. Flood is good. Okay. That's good. Good to hear. I do get some glitchy stuff like this water over here, but I mean... Water doesn't look fantastic anyway. How of the buildings and the textures... <clears throat> I mean, for the early 2000s, this was very good. This was extraordinarily good for the time. Okay. But we can't just muck about here. We need to... Well, we need to increase the amount of food that we produce. Well, we already have 10 farmers, so that's a good start. But we need to begin building our necropolis. And, uh, hmm. Maybe this is where... Let me see. Is there a clay pit out here? There is one over here. Way over here. Hmm, we might have to live with that one. I don't... I don't think there are any other really good places to begin a necropolis. Um... So, let's see, let's get the necessary infrastructure, uh huh? Ah, yes. Let's see, okay. Nothing out of the ordinary here, let's not bother with it. Okay, so we've got a brickyard here. Let's get a brick maker and a brick layer. Let's get a couple brick makers, actually. And again. A brick layer so that we can begin making some mustabas. For those of you who have not played this fine, fine game and have no idea what on God's green earth a mustaba is, a mustaba is kind of a kind of a two made out of bricks. To to keep it succinct. Mastabas are an excellent way in the early game to... What's the word I'm looking for here? In the early game, you need lots of tombs and fast. Now, brick production is always going to be pretty slow, unless you have a lot. And I mean a lot of them. But... Everything else is going to be slow, too, and the fastest of these is going to be bricks, so... You're going to want to begin your game by building mustabas. Which are the cheapest and best form of raising your prestige. Especially because you can bury anyone in them. Well, you can bury anyone in anything, but... They're especially... What's this? One of those working vacations I've heard about. Get busy. You can do other things with bricks, though. Um, aside from giving uh, your nobles and your family members places to be buried, you can also build statues like this Sphinx statue here. 
It doesn't provide a lot of prestige, but uh, it does provide some. Prestige allows you to get more people, uh, more educated people, rather. Such, for instance, as this priest whom I want to get in here fairly soon, because we're going to need him. I shall put him closer to there. So it is Perret planting season already. Now may not be the time to begin recruiting for brickworks and, uh, actually, I am a little curious. Okay, yeah. Brickmakers come from the farming class or the serving class. This is kind of a kind of complex social order to it. You can rise through the ranks. And the ranks are like farmer and servant, and laborer and soldier, and then creators of goods, like bricks, or like luxury goods. And then you have the nobles, who are above everyone else, and uh, who's in the working class of any kind can become a noble. So there's workers and... Okay, anyway. But, so what I'm trying to determine is where is the brick maker? It looks like, looks like he's middle class, so it may have been a mistake to try and build more brick makers. While we're still trying to get our food production up and running. But we'll see about that. It may turn out to be just fine. But right now I want to focus on getting Mustabas up, because among other things, Mustabas are good and useful for appeasing the nobility, because nobles, naturally enough, have lots of needs. One of these in Egypt, um, no less, is funerals services. And because, uh, I guess, you can't just bury people in the ground or commend them to the river, I guess you have to bury them in tombs, now don't you? Hmm? So we're going to get on that right away. Because the palace is already unhappy with the way things are going in that sense. We recently had a pharaoh die, who has been unappeased, so we want to do something about that. Alright, getting on with it though. Uh, let's see. I wonder what's taking them. Maybe they just have too many customers. Some of the classes of goods, as you may gather, are uh, uh, shopkeepers. Um, common shopkeepers supply things that everyone needs, apparently. Pottery, mats to lay on, I guess, baskets, and linen, which I would have thought would have, would have been more luxurious. I guess not. Okay. Another helpful civil servant in Egyptian society, it should come as no surprise, is the priest. Priests serve multiple functions. Yep, yeah, it is just saving here. It should come as no surprise that they, of course, uh, what's the term I'm looking for here? They, um, they do obeisance to their particular gods at their temples. So, who should we dedicate this to? Osiris, the king of the gods? Yes, I think that's wise. 
Um... The God of the Dead. There are, like, a dozen different gods to whom you can have shrines to in this game. And it's wise to have shrines to them all. But for now I'm going to have two. One dedicated to Hapi, in case the floods get too high or too low. People will want to visit his temple. And finally... We will want an apothecary. Because the three functions of a priest in Egyptian society are... Teacher, priest, and doctor. At least in this game, those are the three functions. So, actually, we'll eliminate these two. Let's build one at a time. We don't need more than that. Um, and let's get a bakery out here so that we can pay them. No, that does not work. Okay. In this game, people are paid in food. Um... Literally, according to the game, bread. I don't know how you make bread out of pomegranates, but I guess you do. You just find a way to, I guess. <clears throat> They're a little isolated from the rest of our people, but, um... We should have plenty of food for everyone. Once it's all gathered into the bakeries and prepared. Anyway. Looks like everyone's doing uh, mostly all right here. Now is the time of year because it is harvest time and harvest time appears to be over. Now is the time to try and promote some people. We need some more shopkeepers because people's uh, basic needs are not being met, it seems, which is most unfortunate. So we'll build uh, one of each. Baskets, pottery, uh, mats, and linen. Okay, and hopefully that will supply uh, my palace and this apparently poor, abused noble who does not have access to his basic needs, even though he has a gigantic house. Alright. We have a bare minimum. food coming in. I think we need to change that. Okay, good. A shrine to us. man must do. Okay, good. Shrines will keep people nominally happy with their religious devotions. I take this stuff seriously. People are relieved the inundation met their expectations. Ooh. Floods that get too high get people wanting to see Hoppy. And floods that aren't high enough... I think also make him want to, but okay. Make them want to. Jeesh. Um, 
There's a brickyard around here that, if I delete it, I could make things go a little faster around here. At least I thought there was a brickyard around here. Did I delete it? Hmm, I, I might have. Um... Yeah, I, I, I'm not seeing it here. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the brickyard. We don't need that anymore. All right. And this is our humble abode. As you can see, the nobles next to us have a slightly better looking place. But I'm not troubled by that, as I just want to get my infra infrastructure running. At 18 years old, you're leaving your peak years. Apparently going to age 40 is surely the end of your days. It's silly how young people are in this game. I don't... Especially because older people, I mean, have the wisdom that you would need to run an empire like this. I'm not saying all old people are wise, but... Some old... You do need some old people, because... Old people have experiences that young people do not. That experience is valuable, and that's what made elders so respectable, not only on account of the fact that they attained such a high age, but... I mean, it's like when people ask, um, centenarians? People who've attained 100 years of age or more? How did you get that far? It, it's like, it's like that. People want to know how they did that. Okay. Brick is being brought to that site, which is good, because these people are gonna want food soon. Planting season is here, though. On the floodplain. So that means more food will be incoming. And someone's discontented. Hmm. He's unhappy, he can't get wares because he doesn't have any bread, and, um... Okay, there's a solution to that. He gets most of his income from entertaining nobles. There's really only one solution to that, and I think that's we need to get more nobles in here, and... Therefore, more farmers. Farmers don't automatically mean bread for an entertainer. Nobles mean entertainers. I mean, nobles mean entertainers get paid. So I'm gonna bring one more entertainer in and see that we can maybe help him get some social service, because social security does not quite exist in this era yet. Because this is not, um... What am I trying to say here? Okay. You may wonder why I didn't build in here. You see all of those yellow squares here. Let me zoom in. You see all that. That indicates that this is an area that can be flooded. So if I were to build something here, if the water rose very high, I could lose whatever I constructed. That's not so important with things like farmers, to be sure, but still, you do want to keep people... You do want to keep people around, and you want to keep them happy, and, um... Causing them to lose their houses by building on a floodplain is not a great way to do that. So we're going to not do that. Alright. Hopefully these brick makers, though, okay, looks like they've got their f I don't know how they got their food. Because there's no food here, that's for sure. See something we're going to need after after Shemu.
promote someone else after this. We'll, uh, we'll promote some more people so that some basic goods can be gotten over there. Everyone is mostly happy, except for the entertainers, which is unfortunate for them. Our one priest, and you will notice he's married, or at least he has a woman of some kind. But he's doing as well as he can. Priests in this society, of course, are very unlike the priests you're probably thinking of. In fact, in most pagan societies, married priests were a, a thing. In fact, they still are in Eastern churches. Eastern Orthodox still have married priests, and so do these guys, and they probably need them for all the bustling about they need to accomplish. Okay. We've got a Mustafa. Excellent. Okay, and it looks like we're getting some... Looks like we're getting a fair number of bricks here, so let's build a couple of more Mastabas. A couple of...
sorry. Cameras doesn't like my hotkeys very much. Your prestige is rising. Excellent. And we finally have a decent looking palace. It's not amazing, but... And our expedition to Fayum has finally paid off. That was fast. What have we got? There's a basalt quarry, which would be good for statues, which we can use for temples and for some monuments. We've got a peddler here who can come by and uh, sell us things and buy sculpture from us, which could be good. I want a scribe before I do that, though. Let's see. And there's the Upper Nile. We could go into the desert or into the Sinai Peninsula. I think I'll hold off on that for now until I get a little more food gathered. Actually... I wonder if I can get a scribe now. Uh, let's focus on priests, because the more priests we have roaming around, the better. They can cover each other's bases. If there's anything we've learned from the priest shortage, it's that you should have priests that can cover each other's bases. Although this guy seems to be doing pretty well by himself. He won't be once I build a few more shrines though, I assure you. We're gonna build two more here. <clears throat> One to Isis. And another to... not Seth, not Sobek, Anubis. If I recall correctly, we're going to want both of those. Isis is another very common goddess, and Anubis, I think, is the god of death. Very... Oh, wait. Amun. Amun's the one we're going to want. For... For our craftsmen, I believe. Isis is for Shemul, and... Okay. Uh... Hmm. Alright, let's return to our small compound here and to the laying of brick mustabas. Because we don't want to have to wait for mustabas to be laid for very long. We're going to need as many as we can get. Especially since our pharaoh is leaving his peak years. Four people are dissatisfied with our worship. That's, um, unfortunate. We'll fix that soon enough, though. Everyone else seems to be happy with our there. Everyone else seems to be happy with our funeral capacities, though, which is good. <clears throat> Alright. Good. It's gonna be just a bit before we can build that next master bar, but it won't be too long. And then we can house that next noble family that came in. I don't think jealousy... Jealousy does not come into play here, thankfully, which is good, because... I don't believe you can really reassign Mastabas after they've been given out. Sorry. Once you put your dead bodies in here, um... Sorry, no refunds or exchanges. It's just how it works. Your prestige is rising. Oh, good. Prestige is rising. Sorry. Okay. Good. One of the things I do for 
father is, um, is, a uh, um, produce some specially formatted readings, uh, so that they're less conspicuous in his book, um, it's, it's, it's not worth going into, but, um, we also have some unique saints that the rest of the church doesn't do, because, um, these are... These are people who are carrying over bits of Anglicanism into Catholicism, and one of the things they do is focus more on some of the English saints. It's just another brick for the wall. In our case, Edward the Confessor is being celebrated tomorrow, his feast days. So I need to prepare his readings. Actually, we'll take these down. Just so as our bricklayers should not be overburdened, as they're really not producing that much at this time. There just aren't enough of them at this time. Yeah, okay. How are my priests doing? They seem to be... Well, this priest... Um, construction has not yet begun on this, unfortunately. Bricks are beginning to be brought. It is quite a sojourn, unfortunately. I'll put a brickyard down so that we can fix that. thing I'm going to do here, because we're going to want it eventually. I'm going to put a barge landing around here somewhere. If I can get it facing the right way. This is really not a good place for a barge landing on account of potential flooding hazards. somewhere else. Unfortunately, the flood plain along the river here is very, very long. Um, so I might need to simply bite the bullet. Okay, that's actually a good landing spot, but that is rather far away from my current settlement, fortunately. Out here. Flood plain... Flood plane. Ah, okay. That'll work. Okay. So we'll build a barge landing here, too. How many bricks? I've got 16 bricks. Uh, eight of which are right there. Okay. <clears throat> and that must have us built. Royals need not be the only ones buried here. We'll let anyone be buried there, because we're going to have pyramids, man. Who needs mastabas when you've got pyramids? Huh? We might still need mastabas, but... There is some good sprite variety in this game, too. Baskets and pottery are all we're offering at this time. Sorry. Sleep on the ground. It's good for your back. So people want to worship. Who do you want to worship? Isis, patron of housewives. Her shrine is up and coming, but... Um, sadly, we've got a long way to go before that can happen. How many graduates have we got, by the way? Because without graduates, I can't supply these needs properly. Looks like we've got two graduates who are ready to become... Priests or scribes? I want a scribe here! So that we can begin taking better amounts of the harvest.
Merchant Center, Exchange. Training Ground, oh, we don't need any of those at the moment. We don't really need the barge landing either, but I do want it. Is this all floodplain here? That's no good. Yes, yes, this is floodplain. Looks like the only area that's not is exactly where I put the barge landing. Hmm. That could become problematic. Hopefully not, though. I don't know what cargo we're going to put here, but whatever it is. Wait a minute, is that? No, it's not floodplain. It can't be. I don't know why that is, though. But it's too high up to be floodplain. Yeah, floodplain is... Fairly close to... Fairly close to the river. That's not quite there. That'll be for, I guess, Tura. Tura, Lura, Lura? I want to get some more food forward before I send out any more expeditions. Not gonna bother with any taxes at the moment. Small master bus coming along fine. That small sphinx is still giving us two prestige, which is good. <clears throat> Are my brickmakers just having a hard time making the bricks or what? Unlike future renditions of the City Builder series, pads are actually not required in order to have things function in Children of Honor, which you know, I do like paths, to be perfectly honest. I like the way they give shape to a city. On the other hand, I do have to admit, not requiring them, and thereby not being restricted by the mechanics that paths have to offer, is kind of nice. I mean, people will just walk around wherever they need to, which is good. In Caesar 3, if you... If you saw any of my videos, or any other videos, on that noble game, do require paths, and the people who walk around fulfilling the needs of your citizens follow the paths in kind of a random way, which is rather annoying and forces you to build rather awkward-looking cities. Not the case here. You can build very very natural looking cities and your people will still kind of walk awkwardly through them in ways you wouldn't expect, but not all the time. Sometimes it just looks good. This, for instance, looks really, really good. The luxury shopkeeper seemed cheerful lately. This is almost picturesque, and that's because of the number of rotations, the number of building models. Okay, this path here doesn't look terribly great, but I mean, people travel through almost naturally. I said almost naturally. This really is the most 
well, it's one of the most beautiful 3D city building games I've ever been able to take pictures of or record. It certainly has the potential to be beautiful. It's one of the easiest ones to find beauty in. At least in my opinion, it's one of the easiest to find beauty in. Beautiful little screenshots like intersections, crowded with people for festival days. Welcome to Matoramesis! Even the villages look kind of picturesque in a way. And then you have necropolises like this. This looks primitive yet, but... It gets better over time. Because there are just so many sprites for Mastabas, and if you rotate them, it can look like you have even more. A few baskets for sale here. Good. Ah, it's coming along. It. I could have built the capital city instead, which would have been easier, but... Okay, looks like everyone's got a Mastaba, so really the only reason I need these is to bury royals in. Which could prove to be useful. Looks like everyone's got adequate worship services, at least for the time being. Speaking of, there is one thing that I'm slightly dissatisfied by as regards buildings, and it is that you just have these gigantic centers with nothing but temples in them. Because there are, as you can see here, up, oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different gods, each of whom you need to build a shrine to, or else someone's going to be unhappy. So I'm going to be building a lot more shrines in the future. Probably with a lot more priests, too. Aside from that, I mean... Can you hate this? We've got it pretty good here, don't you think? All things considered. These huts, I mean... Okay, they look like crap on a close level, but they actually... They still look good, even though they look like crap. I mean... The hills and... Trees and everything. This is a beautiful game. And civilization just makes it even more beautiful. You can do amazing things with the resources given. I mean, I love it. I just love it. I love the city builder, I mean, just for that reason. Because it is just a good... Uh, maybe you should find a new home, because apparently people don't want your services, friend. It's not your problem. Um, you know what? Actually, uh, goodbye. Now that you are 20, Pharaoh Ptolemy II, you are. Your best years are behind you. I love how cynical it is with anyone who's over the age of 18. For his sakes. How do you think empires were built, man? Anywho. I've got a couple of priests, and they're doing their jobs fairly adequately. So, let's move on. We'll actually want a mortuary too, won't we? Who is dissatisfied? These guys? Take me to them. I want to see what their beef is. There is no reason for them to be dissatisfied. Okay, what's this? Oh! Good for him. Friend of mine on Orthopractus is also streaming now. Go and have fun, Matthew. Have fun with that. So what's the problem, man? Couldn't arrange a funeral because no mortuary. Oops. Uh, well, let's build one then.
And let's also build a scribe's house as well. And let him... And let him assess taxes. So that we can get more food. So that we can actually... Since we have so much right now... Let's continue making some expeditions, shall we? Where shall we go next? We can't go to Tora and get that fine limestone without uh, without getting more bread, so we'll want to have a more robust economy before we do that. We're just going to need more bread in order to do that. And some limestone, too. Um, and we're going to need papyrus as well. Let's see if we can uh, trade with anyone first, though. Maybe make some bread um, off of papyrus to make it worthwhile in the short term. So we'll go and explore Sinai. At least I think that's what I did here. Once more luxury wares. Well, can we facilitate that? What have we got so far? Sandals, sculptures, cosmetics and perfume. Okay. It's planting season, so it's not really the appropriate time, but um, losing a farmer or two is not going to be that detrimental, ultimately. All right. Furniture. You can make furniture out of reeds, believe it or not. You don't need wood in order to do it. I'm not sure what trees you would need in order to... On the map level, I'm not sure what kinds of trees you'd need. I don't think you can make furniture out of... Out of palm trees. Let's see. So the expedition takes us into Sinai, and... We've run into another trade post, which buys perfume and will sell turquoise jewelry. And we can go further into Lebanon, but I'm not really prepared to do that right now. Instead, let's explore the eastern desert and call it a day as far as exploration is concerned, at least until we get some more food up. got bricks galore, which is good, which is very good. You may notice that uh, giving instructions is a little buggy in this game. Clicking, clicking these does not always work the way that you want it to, unfortunately. But I make do. Trying to build two monsters at once. I hope that Turns out all right. Seems to be struggling a little. We've got a fellow in a boat. It just sinks into the water after it's done being used. Okay. I still only have two graduates. In order to get more, I think I need more estates, which, um, well, I am trying to get more food anyway, so uh, may as well. Huh? And we've explored into Eastern Egypt. What have we got here? We got another peddler who sells monkeys and tin sculptures and buys jewelry and cosmetics. I'm not quite sure I'm ready to do that yet, but I like the idea. And we have a steely quality, uh, quarry. Steely are, um, memorial stones that talk about the fantastic ventures of an expedition or what have you. Before I go off running and spending that kind of moolah, though, I think I do want to build one other thing. I want to build a granary. To house all of our precious, precious food. Alas, where, though? 
just off of the palace, I think. I think that should be fine. No one's worshipping at the moment anywhere. Ha! <laughs> that really speaks to their religiosity. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm making fun of it. That's all. Just being a little silly. So I'll build that granite so that we can get more food, and then I... Okay, we have a scribe coming in. What does he need to assess taxes? Does he need anything special? I don't think he does. Not to assess taxes. I think he can do that just from his house, which is all I want him to do at this time. Just assess taxes. Good man. Good man. Alright. Meanwhile... Ah, the Master Buzz are just crawling along. That will change sooner or later, but... I would like sooner. Are we building anything with bricks over here that, um... Oh yes, this mural. How's that coming along? Maybe I should put some bricklayers over here after harvest. Over in this neighborhood. Where are my bricklayers at the moment? I have one here. I think he's the only one we've got. No wonder things are proceeding so slowly. <clears throat> but a scribe is on the way. That's very good. How do we get envoys? It's not clear to me how we do that. Not particularly clear to me. Our planting is going on though. We're just going to have to wait. I mean... I don't technically have to wait, I could just... I could just hire another bricklayer from among the farmers, but I'd rather not at this time. Okay, harvest time is here. Good. Let's get this granary up, guys. I'll put a bricklayer's hut here, because he will... I think he'll be expanding this way rather than out over beyond the linen fields into this village here. I think we want our Diopolis to... Kind of be a ball and not a snake. That does look very good though. Can I fix my video settings at all? I think they're about as fixed as they're going to be. Which is unfortunate, because some of that anti-aliasing is not working the way it needs to. That may just be my Intel graphics card. Although even a 520 HD graphics is... Should be beefy enough to play this. And look really excellent. So I, I, I think it's just... Anyway. I think it's just the limitations of the game itself. Being from 2003. Good. Zoom in on some things and see how they look, by the way. So what is this thing called again? It is called a best figurine. I would say a worse figurine, but uh, I won't judge their taste. That's pretty good 3D modeling. Got these pools here. People are building. We've got a couple of servants running around here. Okay. 
Speaking of servants, it's probably a good idea for me to get a couple of servants for these guys. What do you mean a new noble is on the way? I thought we had one. Uh-oh. That's not good. Why is the flood going to fail? I wonder. Well, we've got 917 food, so... We won't do terribly. I'll build a couple of servants' huts here next to these gatherers so that they can help these nobles get everything that they need. There is one question I have. Okay, so if nobles move out... That is now a family tomb. Whose family? No one's. So that's what happens. Okay, so it just gets assigned to whatever home it is. Okay, yeah, it just removes the family name. Okay, I see. Interesting. some of this. So because the flood failed, our people are not going to produce nearly as good of a harvest next year. Because, you know, if the river doesn't flood, ooh, yeah. As I say, we built a temple to Hoppy for good reason. Inundation. People will wonder if you're honoring Hoppy properly. The harvest will be quite meager this Shamu. It's coming, Shamu. So we've got a temple to Hoppy right over here. Let's take a look at the guy. Or gal. I'm told its gender is ambiguous, and it looks like people are worshipping here. An old, old god of the river, so I'm told. Looks like a Medusa with snakes coming out of it. But of course, you can't really properly ask me about such things. Pagan gods and all that. Hmm. So the flood has failed. My tax collector did not do his duty, because he did not assess any fields whatsoever. For shame. <laughs> but we now have a granary, or at least we will once it's completed. Murals are almost done, so that will soon be a thing too. Toss him on the corner over here. Okay. So what else do we need? We got a sculptor, cosmetics, perfume. Oh yeah, we need jewelry. But jewelry's way out in the desert, like out over here. You need to get quartz in order to really do that proper life. I think I will build a jeweler just because planting isn't going to be very good this time. So I'll let you corner the market on jewelry and you can go out to Kingdom Come in order to get what you need. And now this palace has a mural on it. Now the cherry deer. Very nice. So the fertility is not going to be very good. Naturally enough, I think I think this point has been pressed. Oh my goodness, there's still food out there from last harvest. I can't imagine it's any good. You might still want to bring it in anyways, since we're probably not going to be bringing much else in. <clears throat> I 
One brick shows up as a whole freaking stack of bricks, though. Hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> Despite its limitations, though, this is still a great game. Many women who work at home sure have been smiling a lot lately. Bricks coming in slowly but surely, though. I don't want to press my economy too much at this time, though, because of the poor harvest we're probably going to have. Once the river floods again, then I will expand my bricklaying economy over here. Actually, what I'd really like to do, frankly, is harvest papyrus and make that. I'm also going to stop all expeditions while this is going on. Bricks disappear. It requires 20 bricks. Okay. To the marsh I march for the reeds we need. Out of the way, villager. You have no rights in Egyptian society. Your reed hut is ours. Let's take a look at a villager family. Okay, looks like they're not doing anything. They're just standing around more on sleep. Come on, is no one actually going out and doing anything from the villages? They must be terrified of the encroaching civilization. Okay, good. All fields... Well, but one field is counted. Good, good. That means we're going to get more food out of this. <clears throat> my people won't be as happy, but uh, so be it. Necropolis is coming along. Looks like a new family has moved in. Oh, we have a royal buried in this small mastaba. That's rather undignified. We should have gotten this one. Oh well. Like we say, no refunds or exchanges, unfortunately. Well, since things are going so well, let's get a large mastaba up. We're doing this so we can practice to build our first pyramid, which is going to require... 12 fine limestone and 18 limestone proper. And that will be the first one that will inter only a pharaoh. So how's this harvest going to look? All the fields have been counted by our scribe. Good job, man. I'm proud of you. You have earned your keep. And let's see how well it fills this granary here. It just might. People want to worship someone. Hoppy. But I have a shrine to Hoppy, don't I? Yes, I do. Speaking of which... <coughs> Is the flood going to look any better thanks to your efforts? Good flood predicted. Okay, good. That will recover some of the fertility, which is excellent. Looks like we've got room for some more farmers too, which is also good. We'll build them over here. Are they able to access everything they need, by the way? Looks like they're fine. You have to walk a ways, but, um... Oh, they're good, strong farmers. They know how to do that. Okay, what's this about abscessed teeth? Speaking of someone who's had experiences lately with dentistry, I feel their pain. 
nobody dies directly from dental abscesses, but they do cause dull, constant facial pain and make teeth sensitive to the touch. Better nutrition would help prevent them. People who can't grow get treatment grow dissatisfied, even though it means having the tooth pulled. And pulling the tooth really is the best thing. But is that going to require a surgeon? So all the fields are counted. Are they in? It wouldn't appear so. Because my food stock has not increased at all. It's decreased fairly normally. And there's actually still a threshing area out there that has not been accounted for. I'm getting a little concerned about it. In that kind of picturesque, though, let's walk through that, because that looks... That is very, very interesting. Okay, so we've got the priest's functions over here, and then we travel through the road here. On the way to the barge landing. Ooh. Except that doesn't look very good at all about <laughs> doing it. Then off to the side of civilization, we see a villager trying to make his own here. Hey, I was here first. I don't care if you were here first. This is my city, kid. The gateway to civilization, folks. Yes. So taxes were maximum, which is great and all, but it doesn't seem to have resulted in very much food. Now, I could press the nobles for yet more food, but um, I, I don't want to do that except in an emergency. The festival has been celebrated. Explains the dip in the dip of 200 in our food supply. Is that threshing floor still out there, by the way? No, it's not. But our cat is upon us. Why hasn't our food gone up at all? Oh well, uh, I can only think of one solution now. One, building useless roads to make things look better. Flood is good. string our civilization along here. Our next nobles will be simply too good to settle among their neighbors. Why should they have to do that? No, no, no. We? No, oh, we will settle on what could become an island. That is the way that the trendy nobles are doing things. They're ruling their own little moated fortresses. So while Flood's going, we'll build a few more of those. And we will also uh, get some common shopkeepers up here. Only three. I don't think there are any flax fields nearby. And that's a serious problem. At least in my mind. Actually, let's be sure that there are no flax fields before we decide that. 
Uh, yeah, they're pretty far away. Is that even Flax? No, that isn't. That's Henna. Okay. Oh, wait! Ah, there's one. There's a Flax field. Thank you for growing this flax for us, villagers. Your hard work will not go to waste. Be assured. want to get pomegranates instead of grain and onions and all that. But I guess these are things I just don't understand. What's the problem? We need a hospital now, all of a sudden. Are there any other... What? Okay, we also need Ptah, who's the god of craftsmen. So we'll build a shrine to him, too. And then we'll build a hospital. Ptah, who is the patron of this city. some leisure complaints out of our people. Oh, now you want an entertainer. Huh. Now you want an entertainer. You abused him for years and all of a sudden, now you need someone to entertain for you. Huh. Well, if that's not nobility and it's... If that's not what nobility just does. It doesn't supply the needs for the people who need their help. Like entertainers. Entertainers depend. They subsist on the nobility. They subsist on people who have large amounts of cash. Isn't that right, my fellow Twitch streamers? Without donators, we... This would be an impossible business. So that entertainer before was starving, and now all of a sudden, when he's not available because he can't feed his family, the nobles get angry. Okay, that's enough righteous indignation for one day. Or rather, not very righteous. I'd say rather that was more gassing. Anyway. We'll invite another entertainer in and see if he fares better than the last guy. He certainly has a nice enough house. He has access to everything he should need, I hope. I should prove this all to Rhodes since this is now noble territory. I just missed it before, but... That's actually a very well-detailed porch there. Okay. So I've been enjoying this immensely. I don't know about you, but, um... 
it's getting on to an hour and a half here, so um, I'll wrap it up in a few minutes. I just want to look around, just make sure everyone is mostly happy. Fields are counted. That one scribe is very, very good at what he does. I'm glad to hear that. I have high hopes for this. We aren't going to begin our pyramids yet, but we are well on our way to having everything we need to do so. <coughs> our necropolis is coming along, our city of the dead. Um. Should I build a baker out here? I get the feeling I should. I will. Um, but not without building a brick maker and a brick layer. Yeah, we got tons of food. Great. By the way, do we have any papyrus yet? That's also something on my mind. The papyrus is beginning to be gotten, which is good. <clears throat> so, by the way, I just wanted to, it's not a big point, but the subtle things are sometimes very important. Threshing areas, for instance, are just a temporary area for your food to be put, but it's rather important that they don't stay there, because... If you just leave things sitting in the threshing area... Okay, people can take it, and that's fine, and that's good, but... Food left in threshing areas, uh... Gets lost over time, due to the flood, and, uh, it just, it just spoils. Which is why I want to build this bakery over here, so that I can just get the food right over there. So our bricklayer is doing us a big, big favor. <clears throat> At least that's the hope. Unfortunately, I do not see our food going up, even though we had a good harvest, so I'm getting a little concerned. got lots of villagers we can recruit from yet. We've got graduates who are still not in use yet, whom we can still make use of, and we should, frankly. Okay, and we got a whopping 100, 1,175 food, which is most, most excellent. I think it could be better yet, but we're definitely covering our costs, and we collected all of the taxes we possibly could. And considering our people need 250 food, basically, in order to survive, we got, we got an incredibly good deal. We got four times what our people needed, which is very, very good. That means we can send out more expeditions and hopefully run into some good trades, people.
Maybe we'll even be able to afford that steely quarry uh, soon. <clears throat> I do not know how to produce envoys. Them, but we'll be fine for now, I think. Actually, you know, it may not be a bad idea to begin quarrying stone. What is that going to take? Let's find out. I think that's a good way to possibly end the video by seeing what it will take to quarry stone. Okay, so... I'm not sure. Okay. Hold by laborers under the supervision of an overseer. Okay. So on this little patch over here, I think I will end by... First, getting a cargo drop-off point here for limestone, at least that's what I'm thinking. I'll build some laborers' huts over here. And an overseer. And maybe, just maybe, I will be able to quarry some limestone. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay. Now, what did our expedition produce? It produced another peddler. This is probably the most promising yet. Leather and rush sandals and furniture. He buys furniture. That's... That is very promising. I think we should... Make him our first trader, and that will be the first expedition to produce something that we can use. Okay. Before I do that, though, I'm going to want another scribe. I'm going to want to put him in a good place. Um... <clears throat> Put him there, and then we will put a merchant center here. Somewhere. Uh, hmm. Put it, um, put it here. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And make it look nice and a little fancy. Uh, not that. Okay, shoot. There we go. Um, and then we'll replace that. What do you mean I can't place it there? What's the problem? Tell me I can't place paths there. Okay, there we go. Now we can place paths underneath of it. Okay, whatever. And once I do that, we'll have... We'll have our scribe deal with that fellow, collect tariffs, and, uh... We can trade with this guy. Yeah, I think that's a winning idea. I think that's a very winning idea. Our cat is still going on, so I think I will build one more luxury shopkeeper just so that I can produce this furniture that I now want to trade. <clears throat> and we will go ahead and buy that relation with the merchant so that uh, in advance... Good, good. Things are really shaping up well. All right, we're almost done here tonight. It is just over a minute, um, an hour 30. So, how shall we conclude here? We have our max farmers. Everyone seems to be happy, including...
So you can tell I'm enthralled with this game here. We might pick up and uh, try playing it again some other time. I think we will. Thank you very much for joining me, though. Uh, have a good night. God love you. Peace to you and uh, goodbye.